Tonight we begin with a Valley News Live exclusive. It may be too late for the Red River Valley to contain the avian flu. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us this evening. Valley News Live has learned a farm just southeast of Holly, Minnesota, may have to destroy hundreds of thousands of chickens. This after initial test results come back positive for avian flu. Valley News Team's Krista Bame has the details. We first met Ammon Bayer nearly two years ago when summer's heat took a toll on his chickens. But he'd rather take the heat over what he's looking at now, a presumed positive test for avian flu. We've been very vigilant in trying to monitor the birds and, uh, and, and watch them closely for any signs of disease. Bayer tells me he works with around 300,000 chickens on his farm every day when he noticed something wasn't right with around 30 of them. I know what a healthy bird looks like and these looked a little bit sick. Under the weather, breathing difficulty, a little bit of foaming from the mouth. What Bayer doesn't know is how some of his birds came down with the virus. The wild waterfowl are known for carrying it. We don't have ducks or geese in the barn. I don't know how it would have transferred from the waterfowl into the building. Now the building will have to be emptied. All 300,000 chickens will likely be wiped out completely once the final test comes back. A livelihood put on hold. Very deflating. <laughs> in the business for 50 years and we've never had a disease outbreak on the farm to speak of that amounted to anything. A hit to the Bayer Brothers farm that was luckily caught early enough. They have a 48 hour period. None of the eggs that uh, would have been quarantined here have gotten into the customer's hands. One relief in all the stress. Uh, I think I'll try and get some sleep. Near Holly, Minnesota, Krista Bame, Valley News Live. Now, the USDA and APHIS will be out on the farm tomorrow to work out a plan to compost all of the birds.